5 a.m. on a Monday. Up and at them, people. This is my usual get up um, and hit my run. Basically, I'm going to go to my favorite run spot or my second favorite run spot. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Time is currently, I don't know what time it is because my watch isn't connected. <sighs> nice, bright, early in the morning. Getting ready to go to work. So, just woke up. About to hop in the car, head to Kung Fu, get set up, and then we're gonna have some fun, get a morning burn class in. If I do have errands, try to get them done as early as possible because uh, the rest of the day I can relax before I have to jump into work. So. Uh, Going to Walgreens, I gotta go get my dad a gift, gotta get something to eat for lunch too real quick, and I'm doing real shopping tomorrow. Good morning. One of the first things I do when I wake up in the morning is I have to take my dog out. What is up you guys? It's your boy Matthew, back in the studio. Just finished the morning run, as you guys saw. Did about three miles, a little bit over today. Um, steady pace, nothing too crazy. Um, so my plans for today, I have three primary objectives. The first one is going to the post office to drop up some packages. It's not busy today, let's go. Um, secondly guys, a Matthew day is not complete without a trip to the local Wawa. Today's Wawa run, a breakfast sandwich, a hash brown, and my custom coffee. And then, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead to our actual studio, uh, meet up with Osai, get some stuff uploaded for you guys to enjoy on our online interface. Ooh. Oof, and we are at the school now. Now I gotta get set up for classes. So we got our whole setup thing over here. I gotta get our lights set up, camera set up, and also write my game plan out for class. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'll be ready to teach. And then after that, we got more stuff to do today. So stay tuned. Whew. So I just finished class. I'm sweating, as you guys can see. It was a great class today. Um, I think we everyone killed it. I have a lot of fun teaching these morning burn classes, guys. It's the only reason I get up this early. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Everyone always kills it when I do the morning burns. We had a little bit of technical difficulties today. So usually what happens is we have the ID set up so I can go ahead and just start the meeting. Today, the meeting wasn't there. So I was like, oh crap, I don't know what to do. Um, I ended up just starting one of the meetings, the only one that we had open. Um, hopefully I know we're gonna get that problem fixed later on today. Uh, but that was pretty much it. I taught, you know, morning burn. We killed it. Now I'm about to clean up um wipe myself off get night wash my hands of course having the right mindset during this time is so important um, i network with a lot of small business owners and also other school owners and when this whole thing started they were highly motivated they're like man we're going to teach some awesome virtual classes uh, we're going to continue the market but as time progresses their mindset shifts they shift from a winning mindset to a losing mindset it's like a fighter in a ring. When a fighter enters the ring, they have a winning mindset. But they start getting hit, they start getting taken down to the ground, the opponents control them on the ground, they start developing the losing mindset. And when you have the losing mindset, you, be, you get into a survival mode. And that's not what you want to be in as a fighter and also running your own business. You need to have that winning mindset all the time. With the Gorilla Pod today, I figured I'm going all out with it. Full Casey Neistat with it. We got the boy in the building. What's up, guys? Now we are in the studio, just um, uploading some more stuff to our online program. But primarily, this is objective number three for the day, just making sure that everything is in order ready to rock and roll all right i have arrived at my destination walgreens and uh time to go shopping all right so now i'm at publix hit the mask on
Mask is on, it's protected. We got our paper list so we don't touch our phone in the store. Peace out, let's go get some. Vlogging trip success. Super quick trip, probably the easiest way you can go. Got everything I needed, in and out, super fast. Loved it. What is up guys, we are back home. I'm editing the video, but something I wanted to talk to you guys about is our topic of this week, and that's gonna be tackling anxiety and the stress overload. That being said, me personally, I can't speak on anxiety, but I can briefly speak on um, handling and managing stress. Of course, it's different for everybody, so these are just some of my personal tips. So the first thing I do is actually go on my morning runs. Now, my morning run is a way to stay active and stay fit. However, it's also a place where I clear my mind. Um, in the morning, there's barely anybody on the road. The weather is nice and it's really calm out on the street and that helps me clear my mind to prepare myself for the day. So that was pretty much my morning for today. Uh, uh, one of the things that we also want to talk to you guys about is probably pretty much just like everyone's like anxiety and stuff about everything that's going on. Um, for me personally, uh, you know, it's obviously something that I'm a little worried about because I have my grandma at home, I have my mom at home too. Uh, but for me personally, I just know that as long as you stay safe, you know, it's kind of out of my hands. So as long as I wear, do the precautions, wear my mask, all that stuff, you know, it's out of my hands. But at the end of the day, I, I did the most I can do and that gives me a little bit of ease too. We are getting ready to go by a birthday shout out to one of Carly's friends. Carly, show me your sign. There you go, you got a lot of cars. So I know during this time, everyone's stressed out, everyone has a lot of anxiety. Um, personally, there's a lot of, well, one, there's a lot of ways to combat that. But um, personally, myself, you know, I'm not really that stressed out or have that much anxiety um, when it comes to the situation. One of the big reasons is I try not to have my head in the news 24 seven. Right? I feel like a lot of people like to keep their head in the news, eyes glued to their phone, 24 seven, looking through all the different things about COVID and everything like that. To be honest, if it's really important, it will come to light. Other than that, there's no point in me in stressing over all the what ifs, maybes, and stuff I can't control, right? That's one of the personal things that I like to believe in is like, if you can't control something, you should not worry about it, right? So I'm not gonna spend my time like, going through all these different articles and research and doing all this stuff when I know the basic essentials I need to stay healthy and stay clean and I know what I need to do. I know the, the regular ordinances that are out right now. Um, unless a new ordinance comes out or there's a new like big revelation that if it does come out, I'm gonna know about it. Um, but I don't need to waste my time worrying about the things I can't control, which is a lot of the stuff that's going on out there. Yeah. Little Wendy out, it's closer to almost noon. But um, just to talk about some of my daily or morning routines that I do that gets me pumped, motivated, and ready to kick some butt. Um, not only do you guys say like I do meditate, um, and to be honest with you guys, meditation was something that took me a long time to do, but it's one of the best things that I've ever done as far as developing a routine. That's something that sticks and works for me. Um, I used to try like early on, you know, you see these guys and you know, you want to sit there and you want to try and meditate for like 20, 30, 40 minutes or whatever when you're first starting off. And I used to fall asleep or do all kinds of stuff. Like it never worked out. Like it just used to frustrate the hell out of me. And um, you know, the thing is, it's really like I had to take a step back and go back to that mantra of, there, I mean, two things. One, you gotta crawl before you can run. So instead of trying to go for 20, 30 minutes at a time to start, I went back and just started with like a minute to 90 seconds. Um, I would also have to change my posture so I'm not sitting in bed or whatever. Sitting down, sitting up, that position kind of like helps um, helps me in a lot of ways. And two, that whole notion about being still. I think in a video, I've gotten to the point now where I can sit still and quietly. But before, when I, once again, when I first started off, when I would do like two minutes, three minutes as I advanced on, I started to kind of like, I couldn't sit still the whole time. I will kind of move around, stuff like that. Today, I am making my slow cooker chili. One of my go-to dishes, pretty easy to make. I don't like anything that has over 10 ingredients, so if there's over 10 ingredients, I won't make it too, too complex. But the chili, the slow cooker chili is pretty easy. You just have onions, ground beef, garlic, beans, and put it on the pot and let it uh, slow cook for six, seven hours, and that's it. Everybody loves it, everybody will eat it. Uh, 